here I've loaded up a product and if I just double check what I want to talk about is new cell account so this is a uh, Lego Star Wars product or advent calendar now if I come down and what I'll actually do is I'll load it into Keeper so that we can get a much bigger view of it voila now when you look at the Keeper graph normally you're going to see something like this and what I do is I just turn off used I don't want used it's information I'm not selling used products I'm not competing against used sellers I don't really care so I turn that off but the one thing you can do is down here is called more historical data so what I'm really looking at is to say what this kind of gives you like a second graph down the bottom and it's really useful and the reason why this is useful is because it shows you what the new offer count is and by new offer count is how many sellers are on the listing so if I just give an example it's basically keeper is counting when we go to new it's counting how many other sellers are on this listing and right now I don't it doesn't I don't think it tells me I oh, know if I go back sorry uh, no it just says new sorry it just says new but we can see when I go into new offer count that there is something like nine pages of sellers that's insane nine pages of sellers and you can see there's a lot of sellers so let's just go back to the actual count itself so over the last year which I've got here you can see that you know we started off with you know back in October the 6th Saturday 84 new sellers and come across we've dropped down to 80 it's gone back up to about 93 and then it's gone back down again to 39 and then it's slowly come back up again and now it's hovering around 85 why is this in important because what you can see is what's the competition on the listing now generally speaking when there's more competition certain things change but for you being able to see that historical data ie the number of sellers is really important because you can understand not only the price not only the the buy box not only the Amazon price and the sales rank you can see how much competition there is over time and for something like an advent calendar which is very seasonal obviously not so much in, in the number of sellers on this listing but the number of you know something seasonal like that being able to see how the sellers change over time is really important so that's something that I really like looking at and just I always have it on Amazon number of sellers so let's tick off that one so the one thing which I want to talk about now is how the new sellers affect price so let's just go back to this product and what I want to look at is this kind of area here now we know already that this is an advent calendar so I'm going to just kind of zoom in on let's go to this area so I'm just going to zoom in from the 1st of November and this is 2018 up until about March so let's just have a look at first of all the price and we're, I'm really going to be looking at the buy box price and then I'm going to talk through the sellers in a minute so look buy box price here so we've got about 20 pounds it dropped down to 18 pounds then all of a sudden Amazon's come off the listing and it's jumped up to 25 pounds it's then gone up to 27 28 it's even gone to 28 nearly 29 it's literally hovering under 29 and then slowly we can see over time it's coming back down again and it's coming down to about 23 so let's just have a look at that price now in relation to the sellers so over here we had 88 sellers a year ago and it's slowly going up and up and up and up and the price has gone down remember so it looks like Amazon's brought the price down price has gone down then all of a sudden when Amazon's come off the listing we're at 101 sellers so you can see that 101 sellers then all of a sudden the price shoots up and what you're seeing is the price has gone up because Amazon's, Amazon along the listing bringing that price down but now this product and we can see here it's sales rank 10 it's probably sales rank 10 in toys and games which is like insane it, you know during Christmas this is probably doing something like 4,000 units a month not a problem so we've got literally we've got here so we've got 101 sellers and then what we're seeing is that the sellers are now going down why because the products are selling and they're selling out of stock Amazon sold out of stock other sellers are selling out of stock so what's happened well obviously the cheapest seller other than Amazon or Amazon was the cheapest seller they've gone then the next cheapest seller wins the buy box they're gone then the next cheapest seller and the price is going up and up and up so what we can see here is that as these sellers are dropping and you can see all the way down here and I'm just going to kind of guess around here by the way you see sales going down 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 right down to about here you know someone for some weird reason sold it for 25 pound 24.99 no idea why and we can see look what's happened here is that this product's going really well and you know we're going 29 pound it hits at and the sellers down here you know we've dropped out 38 
and it's gone back up again now. So what's probably happened is people have looked at that and said, my God, this product's selling for about £29. That's incredible. They're probably buying for 15 thinking it's going to keep going up. And now we start getting more sellers come in on the listing. So more sellers come in, come in, come in. And then if you look at the seller count, over time now it's going back up, 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 up. It doesn't really go down. But because the sellers are going up and up and up, what's going on with the price? The price is coming down and down and down and down and down. And also, what are the people realizing? It's a seasonal product. It probably doesn't sell as well outside of December. So as a result, people are trying to shift it. And what do they do to shift their product? They bring the price down and that's trying to increase sales. So what we're seeing is that the number of sellers are going up and that's affecting the price and the fact that the competition is increasing and the price is slowly coming down as well. And for you and your arbitrage business, or for me, for example, why is that really important? Because when you're looking at deals, and let's say, for example, you're looking at a deal from like Argos or one of the big name retailers during a massive sale, what you're going to spot is that all of a sudden the number of sellers just shoots up. And what do you see? The price goes straight down. So for you, when you're sourcing, you might be all right with that. And you might be like, I can handle that because the price is so great. Or you might be like, actually, I want to stay away from those products because they're not the kind of products that I want. So... That's a little bit about how new sell account you can use and understand the relationship between new sell account and how that affects the price. I hope you found this really useful, really informative. Um, please, 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 if you like it, give me a big like. I love like, or give me a love heart. Honestly, love love hearts. Um, and also drop some comments. Drop comments down below. Even if you just liked it, hey Tom, love this. Thank you so much. Um, or if you've got questions, please let me know. Drop them down the bottom. So for me, Thomas Parkinson, Fast Track FBA, thank you very much.